Hey guys, sorry for the actual delay for recording a few videos, but I'll be back on track now and get through everybody's suggestions that they've been suggesting over the weeks and over things that people have suggested before. Now, what I'm going to create is something that people have been asking for a, a, quite a few times is actually seeing your character's body and sort of feet and movement. You know, when you've got a um, character, you know, like in a lot of first person games, you'll see feet moving and you'll see. Um, hands and stuff like that. Now this is only going to be very basic so I'm not going to show you how to rig a character or do that sort of thing but I'm just going to show you basically with Unity's default assets. So what I've brought in I've got um, the third person controller and that's from Unity's assets so if you don't already have that you can right click in your project put in part package and character controller and once that's in you can add the drag this third person controller prefab into your scene and you know you'll get this and I've just scaled it up slightly now all you want to do is you will have a third person camera script actually on that prefab once you drag it in but what I've done is deleted that script because we don't want the camera to follow it like the script asks we want to position the camera ourselves so if you don't already you know import a new camera so I've got a um, first person camera and what I've done I've, in, I've positioned it directly in front of the character's face you know as you, you know you might expect then what we'll do is we'll actually add and parent that camera to the um, actual object itself and on the camera what we'll do is you make sure your clipping planes are all the way down to the lowest it can go so 0.01 because I'll show you here is if I play the game, you know, you can see the hands a little bit. Now, if I, you know, increase the clipping plane, you won't see anything. So, if I take it all the way back down, you know, you see the things that we want to see. And if you move that, you can see, you know, part of the legs. Now, what we can actually do is actually increase the minimum and maximum Y values where you can look up and down so if we um, decrease the minimum so we just put it to about what if we say 80 minus 80 roughly you know you can look further down at your character so then when you you know moving about you can see yourself um, you know all around this isn't perfect way to do it but it's you know just a very simple way for you to get this you could see there when I jumped the character's position slightly um, changed so you might want to parent the camera to the actual head of this character so it'll follow the position of the head you know anywhere you go but you see that's just shows you basically as long as your character doesn't particularly um, move forward when it jumps you know you can keep this camera in this position and you know just change settings accordingly so all it really required was the, the character that you're going to use, which will have, you know, obviously a, a character controller so you can move with it, um, have a camera in your scene which is just slightly in front of the face. You parent that to the actual character that you're using and you can change the minimum and maximum values on the Y and on the X if you're doing that, you know, so you can look up and down further and make sure your clipping planes are all the way down so you can see quite close to your character. So that's pretty simple and that's just the basics. So Hope you liked it and thanks very much for watching. As ever, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.